The Captain Captain Paw Blicks. 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 Movie City Sports and Flicks. Movie City Sports and Flicks. Movie City Sports and Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love. And this is where we talk flicks. I welcome to the podcast, the podcast of me, the captain. Talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you've seen on a two-bar screen, I'd like to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective by this movies, TV, sports, or flicks. Let's get in here and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Poland. We got some plays over in Poland this past week. Could I see his gratitude? In Poland, I actually discovered just recently that um, in northern Michigan, it's a little bit of taste of Poland. In northern Michigan, up in northern Michigan, we got a nice little store that's a nice cultural representative of your of your nation. So one of these days, we'll take a trip throughout my state. But to go up there, stop through, and get a get a experience that. So I can't go to Poland right now because it's state of the world. But I can't go to northern Michigan and get a little bit of taste of Poland and Michigan. Beautiful. So Poland, shout outs to you. Gracias for listening to the podcast. And just FYI, back then when School of Bay Radio DJ. But I never got a job. I think what it was is I didn't have the strength. It takes a lot of the strength to be a DJ. I didn't have it. Back when I was young, I had a lot of, lot of, lot of energy. Just didn't have the strength. I had to do more reps. I needed more reps. I had a bigger body. I didn't have a big body, so it could be a radio DJ. But that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. So it's a debate. Maybe true. Might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts. Maybe not quite facts. Maybe everything on the internet is not facts. I'm pretty sure that is facts. So when you're on the internet, be careful, be cautious, be mindful. Just be aware. It was like a ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes the captain likes to tweet. Sometimes I rap, but sometimes I tweet as well. So if you want to connect with the witty tweets of the captain, because I live tweet a lot of TV shows a lot, so you can connect with me on the Captain Talks with Twitter, and you can see my witty remarks while I live watch TV, while I live tweet TV shows. You also can see some random stories. Also links to the podcast are there as well. So let's connect on the Twitter. Let's just be tweet BFFs, buddies, compadres. I'll put the link below to the Twitter, to the tweet, Twitter, tweety, tweet, tweet, tweet. We can connect. So check out Twitter, put it below. Now, let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday, August 14th. It's been a whole three days since the last podcast. In the last, you heard from me, I wasn't feeling the greatest. And I'm still not feeling peak awesome, 100% captain. But I'm better. There's been improvement. And we still doing podcasts. Because this is my ninja way. Rain, snow, sleet, song, storms. We keep podcasting. Because this is my ninja way. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I just had a nice lunch. Some to eat, some water, and now I'm ready to rock and roll. But right before I did this podcast, when I was eating, drinking my water, I was kind of looking for a topic to talk about. I wasn't unsure. I was a little under the weather this week. The ideas weren't flowing to me. And I was on YouTube scrolling YouTube. You know me, I'm scrolling YouTube all the time. YouTube is great. You never know what you're going to find on YouTube. And I'll be honest, in the last couple of months I've been under a rock. Kind of just um, a little media uh, detox a little bit. So I've never really been, you know, kind of uh, with my ear to the current state of affairs, right? So I've been kind of missing some things. 
but just earlier today, what came into my little recommended box or recommended feed was like the longest rap video of all time. What came into my inbox or my recommendation box was a 40 minute rap video. 110 MCs, 40 minute long track. You may have seen some long rap videos in your day. I'm 45, I've seen a lot of rap videos. I've seen tons of rap videos. I can't even count how many rap videos I've seen. I've seen so many rap videos in my 45 years. But I never seen one 45 minutes long, 40 minutes long. And I'm not talking like the rap video where they do a little like movie scene or like a you know like a 10 minute movie scene or a 20 minute movie scene and 20 minutes of rapping. I'm talking it was 40 minutes of rapping. It was all raps the whole video. 40 minutes. It's a TV show. It was a whole TV show worth of rap. You ever watch a 40 minute TV show? It was a 40 minute video of rapping. They were rapping for 40 minutes straight. It wasn't just Mo and Joe on your block rapping. It wasn't just some random SoundCloud rapper. It wasn't just some random guy with a mixtape. The guys on this flow song, 40 minute song, were legends. Legendary. If you watch this video and you didn't know one of these guys, you don't know hip hop. If you watch this video already and you didn't know any of them, you are not hip hop. I'm just saying. You at least know one. You should know way more than one. You should know a lot of them. But let's say you, you got to at least know one at least. Come on. Please. Now, I'm, I may have an advantage because I'm 45. And because I'm 45, that means I've been around the game for a while. And I've grew up on this hip-hop thing. And a lot of the guys in the video I seen when I was coming up. And maybe you're young. Maybe you're just a baby. Maybe you're not old enough to know. But that's no excuse. If you're new to planet Earth and you ain't been on planet Earth when these guys were spitting... It's very possible that's the, that's the case. Do your homework. You should be studying up. You got a dad and a mom. They're into hip-hop. They know about these guys. Dad and mom, if I had kids, they know all about these guys. Guarantee that this would be the first, one of the first things they listen to as a kid. Like, you listen to this. Because a lot of these guys, not a lot, all the guys on this track, 40-minute rap track, is spitting bars. Spitting bars. Fire, spitting that raw. It is the longest rap video I've ever seen. And there ain't no fluff. It ain't like part of it's good and part of it's not good. Every bar is fire. Right? Fire. Fire, fire, fire. After you hear this 40 minute track, you're gonna be like, I gotta go back to my notebook and rewrite my stuff. Like I gotta I gotta scratch all this, I gotta rewrite my bars. My bars are not good enough. <laughs> Serious. My bars are not good enough. Let me throw these pages away. I need to write new bars. Because these bars being spent on this 40 minute track were fire. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. You ever watch people have fire, 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 right? They were fire. I'm not exaggerating. I'll put the link below so you can experience this 40 minute rap video with nothing but the best bars you're ever going to hear. And if you don't know these guys, you need to get familiar. Legends. Legends of the game. You want to know hip-hop? You know these guys. Straight up. Yeah, so I saw that today. And I feel, I'm kind of ashamed because the video dropped like in June. And I'm just now seeing it in all, you know, late August, or mid-August. So, you know, sleeping a little bit. Like I said, I've kind of been under a rock last couple of months because I've been taking care of business, not connected with the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the pop culture as much. But you know, anything good, anything good eventually makes its way to the captain. It took a little bit of time, but it finally made its way to me. And I feel a little shame for not catching it sooner. But like I said, I kinda, I kinda like, I've kind of shut myself off from a lot of media these days, last couple months, so I can focus on my creative projects. Focus on doing myself, you know, building myself up. But if you got the cream rising to the top, and if it's fire, it's going to make its way to me. And Mr. DJ K. Slay, 
assembled 110 MCs on one track for 40 minutes and just dropped them bars. It was so fire, so lit, so dope, so just awesome. It's the, it's the greatest assembly of rhymers, rappers, spitters ever. Possible. I think, man, ever. You may have heard crew tracks with like 12 people on them. Maybe 20. You ain't never heard one of 110 guys on it. It is madness. <laughs> it's awesome now. I didn't just watch part of it and come back to it later. I sat, I, I watched the whole video in one sitting. I turned it on, let it play, and just watch bar after bar after bar after bar after bar bar raw fire flame being spit by the samurai. The hip hop samurai. I call these guys hip hop samurai because they are ferocious with their blades. These are hip-hop samurai, bushy warriors with the pen and the word. And they are unstoppable. So I'm going to put the link below to this fine video. 110 guys spitting flame. And ladies, fire, flame, raw, sword play, darts, word play. Wow. Yes. I'm not gonna talk about who's on there, cause I watched it. And I wasn't even, I was they even threw a few surprises I didn't expect to see. Like I kinda, when I started watching this, I was like okay, I kind of knew who I might see, and then they just dropped some guys like, oh they brought, oh they put them in there, oh yes, like yes, oh yes, they get they put, oh wow, I was like oh wow on a few different times, like I was wild the whole video, but then was like you know so and so was there, like, oh wow, they got so and so in there, oh wow. I was like wowing all day. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, man. <laughs> K. Slay did it. Man, it's, oof. And it was, I was so excited when I seen the video. You should have seen the smile on my face when some of these bars were being spent. Like, legitly happy, genuine smile. I see this, this one dude on there. It's like, oh, wow. You know, just smile, genuine smile. And some of them I hadn't seen for a while. It was good to see them. So awesome. So, yeah. So, we'll talk about that. That you want to see guys who are masters with their words, words mismaster with the pen, just good with the art of rhyming, spitting. You need to see this video. And if you don't know these guys, you say you don't know any of them, once you watch this video, you go back and you research and you watch your catalog and you learn a little about these guys. Not a little, not a little bit, a lot of it. Because if you're new to the game, you're a younger cat. These guys are the guys that built the path for you. There's a lot of cats getting money right now off of hip hop. Big amounts of money. And a lot of these cats in this video laid the foundation. I was saying this podcast that hip hop played a big role in me doing this podcast. I say it all the time because it's truth. I would not be doing podcasts if it was not for hip-hop. Straight up truth. Because the first thing I did on a microphone was spit rhymes. And a lot of the reason I spit rhymes is because guys in those, that video you saw today, I saw today. Like seriously, a lot of those guys in that video is the reason that I started rhyming, spitting, flowing. Straight up, there's countless guys in that video that are like, yeah, they influenced me heavily. I started doing the rhymes, spitting the rhymes, flows, right with the pen. Did that for many years, and that led to the podcast. So this podcast all goes back to hip-hop. Among other things, hip-hop's a big part of it. And I always give a shout-out every time. All the time. I always pay homage. I always pay respect. Anytime I get a moment to do that, I have this this venue here, this... It's this platform here that I get to talk, express myself, and I shout out hip hop all the time. Because I have a lot of utmost respect for their craft and the people that came before me. Straight up. 
So go watch this video. 40 minute hip hop video of the raw, spitting the raw, the flow, the rhyme, the fire. You will go home and you'll rewrite your bars because you're just not that good enough. <laughs> you're gonna watch the video, Blake. I gotta go home and rewrite all my rhymes. Cause I'm just not up to bar with these guys. I'm not. You probably well, I'm sorry. They're good at what they do. I'm just saying. So anyways, that's all I'm gonna talk about. The longest rap video of all time. But not only is it long, it is great. It's fantastic. It's exactly what I needed today. I was a little under the weather all week. And it's something about popping in 40 minutes of the rawest rap you've ever seen. Got the energy up. I feel the energy flowing through my body. I was a little low, low vibe this week. I said that in the last couple podcasts, low vibe, low energy. I feel a little under the weather. But then I saw 110 guys spit that raw. And I'm like, energized, baby. I'm pumped up. I feel good. And part of it was because that 40-minute rap video. Shout out to you, DJ K. Slay, and all the guys on the track. Awesome. I appreciate that boost. I appreciate that work of art with a lot of greats on there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Much respect. So anyways, this concludes the podcast. Gracias, gratitude. I appreciate you listening to this. I'm still doing it. I want to keep the captain down, but the can't. <laughs> no, there's no thing. Nobody wants to keep me down. But um, yeah, it's a little, a little feeling a little crappy this week. We still got up and we still did it. Because we are rolling a hundred and ten deep. So anyways, thanks for joining me. And until next time, we'll see you. As a general rule, the most successful man in life is the man who has the best information. Benjamin Disraeli. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.